as a man, I feel like it's a much easier for a man to go out and have a casual hookup and there'd be absolutely no emotions. For a woman, it's not. It is easier for them, but do you think that's okay? Do you think that's right? Just because it's I, harder I for a man to separate like his emotions from his like, sexual desires, going... that he should just go out and do it just because it's easier. I don't. I mean, but it's don't not something it should... I would want, but I sure. think should that... you have that standard though? Like, if if that's what you want, if you want your man to have the standard to look at you emotionally, not just like sexually, but like he should live up to that. Like, there's men out there that aren't just gonna like succumb to their no pun intended to their desires and <laughs> you know and just do that. There's actually men out there who do see sex as an emotional connection, an emotional bond, and they're not going to just do it with random women just because they can. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. I think if you're in a relationship and it's emotional and you love the other person, there really isn't time. I would not be able to give my emotions away to someone else. Right. Even if I want, even if I tried, I don't think that I could physically give my love and emotion to someone else. So I know that that won't happen, even if he does want to go be with another woman i know that that emotion won't go anywhere that i'm solid and i'm secure where i am in the in the relationship and i'm i wouldn't necessarily mind it and you don't want that same thing reciprocated to you what do you same what do you mean well so you're saying you know you have this great loyalty and that's beautiful i'm wondering why you wouldn't want to see that in the person you're with i would 100 percent. i think loyalty is important i think that i get my validation in different ways than you know my ex-boyfriend would get his validation my validation would be i would post a cute selfie on snapchat or maybe even a bikini picture on instagram and people would comment and be like oh you look so cute that's my sense of validation Mm -hmm. i think that his sense of validation would be going out and maybe flirting or you know being having a one night stand and i've do you think that having a one night stand is more harmful than posting a cute pic on instagram like in terms of he's bonding with another person chemically you're posting a photo on instagram i don't think there's necessarily a chemical bond i think that it's just well scientifically there is so are you are you denying that science or are you just kind of is that no i'm not denying the science i think it's just the way that i feel i don't necessarily you guys are kind of talking past each other a little bit as well because if you look at the, the dating market at the moment especially in terms of like um the atheist world that we live in so you look at dating as like a man and a woman in a unity under god would i be right in saying that of course yep so he created all of us so. exactly right I would, I would agree with you however in the market that we live in at the moment especially with women's sexual hypergamy um there's a bunch of men who are sort of at the top who are getting all of the attention this is borne out on all the sort of dating apps and all this sort of thing so i think what we're seeing is sort of a, re- a return to polygamy in a way where, where women are saying i'm okay with my man going and sleeping with other with other women because i want the highest value man I know it might be very difficult for you guys to comprehend, but I think that you'd be very surprised how often this is happening. I well, think that monogamy what, is destroying I relationships. Each other. I think I was trying to understand mm-hmm. what, like, literally what your view is. So I'm actually really curious I to think understand that, it. Yeah, I think monogamy is one of the reasons why the divorce rates are so high. Monogamy is not natural for me as a woman i don't need to go out and be with another man or flirt with another man or get another man's attention or sleep with another man if i'm in a relationship i don't need that i don't even want that i think that i don't know why but i feel like men as time goes on and you're with your wife or you're with your woman and there's like you know the woman has kids and she's spending all of her time with her children and then it's the man doesn't get any love or attention i think that that's why divorce rates are so high families are falling apart and monogamy is not natural Mm -hmm. i don't but for me as a woman i'm not i don't care i'm going to be loyal to my husband i'm going to be 100 percent obedient and submissive at all times and that's just how i so if you go into a marriage knowing that there's a chance that you're like accepting the fact that this man's going to get bored with you after Mm -hmm. you have his children like you mentioned her children it's their children right like it's his children too Mm -hmm. if you're like kind of expecting it almost based on like what i'm gathering from your your current position of Mm -hmm. dating if you were to marry a man like that honestly it seems like it wouldn't be shocking at all and therefore that is why the divorce rate is so high but if you enter a marriage both being on the complete same page the divorce is completely off the table that like that's what marriage is about it's not dating dating you can break up marriage why are we breaking up the whole point is you're bonded for life so if you both enter that marriage with that understanding you both have that understanding whereas Mm -hmm. your position seems to be that you have that loyalty but you're okay with the man not having that loyalty and you kind of expect him to get bored after a few years i wouldn't say that it's not loyal i think it's just biology i i think it's the way that men are 
that's engineered. I think have a very like low view of men. Like men well, are not. I don't think it's low at all of making an emotional connection with you. Oh, and, they are a hundred percent. And they can be loyal to you. That's love and lust. Those are very different. But don't you think if a emotions. man really loves you, he's going to be loyal to you? Like love's an action. Of course, of course, my man will I be loyal to me. I know that. But did that you just say that you let him cheat on you? That I don't consider cheating as a part of loyalty from a man. That's the way that I. Can I, I view it? Can I jump in? Um, you say. Okay, and this is coming from the Christian girl. You say <laughs> monogamy is not natural, but God gave Adam one wife, one wife, and they had their kids, and then they, get, they each had their own wives. And I know in the Old Testament, you know, everyone used to have a million wives and whatnot, but in the beginning, before all of that, God gave Adam Eve, and you know, she kind of like screwed us all over, but we're not going to talk <laughs> about that. Um, but also, like, if you don't consider that cheating... <laughs> That's all right. Grid One Motorsports donated $100. As a man married 18 years, monogamy is natural, and men who cheat are low class. Monogamy is not ruining marriages, this idea that women can divorce a man because they are bored and get paid for it. I, okay, I'll come back to that. I just wanted to say, like, you can have your opinion on what cheating is, what cheating not is. I mean... But why would you want that for yourself? Like, you're putting in all this time, putting all this effort, and he's not giving it back. Like, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense how you can be happy with that if you're putting in all this effort. It's like, it's like on a scale. Mm-hmm. You're doing a lot, and he goes, and he, like, treats you as if you're, like, replaceable. And I don't know. I think the whole, like, men are, bio- like, biologically, like, promiscuous. Like, they should have their... Uh, needs fulfilled blah 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 yes a relationship is give and take yes men do have sexual needs that they need to be satisfied with their partner but once you commit to one person you need to stick to that commitment like this is all about uh making choices making decisions and sticking to them i don't care if you have oh my god oh my god i literally like i need to like go hook up with this girl you don't (laughs) need it okay you want it and you make the conscious decision to go and do it you make a conscious decision to go and cheat on your partner it's not okay for me, I, I see where you're coming from. It's not okay. It's, you know, that's how your sense of loyalty is. For me, if that, I I feel like I have, the, I hold this sense of being so submissive that maybe it rubs, I feel like it rubs some people the wrong way. If my man wants to go cheat on me and wants to go be with another woman and that would make him happy, then I want him to do that. I My world revolves around exactly what my man wants and what he needs do you have a high value of yourself like would Pardon? you say you like have a lot of self-worth i wouldn't necessarily say that i have a lot of self-worth i i think i'm pretty realistic i think one of the big issues with modern dating is that a lot of women have this dis- distorted sense of value they think that they're way more valuable than they really are i know my value i'm not a virgin i'm not 18 i'm not a 10 out of a 10 i'm not some tall blonde thin you know swedish girl I know where I stand and I know like my expectations of what's realistic and what I think that I deserve. I'm not saying that I think I'm going to get some high value man. I know where I am. It's like the food chain in the wild. Like there's lions and you have your gazelles and cheetahs and there's a whole order to everything and I know where I where I'm what, at. What's most think- important for you in terms of like what a man brings to the table? What I would want a man to bring to the table? I need um, a sense of control from a man. I don't necessarily like making my own decisions. I don't really... I think a sense of control. I think um, dominance, masculinity, true masculinity. Um, Resources? Pardon? Resources? You want a man to have resources? Sure. Yeah, Yeah. I I think resources are important. Um, I have this thing where I... I kind of like being a pet in a sense. I don't really want to make my own decisions. I just kind of want to be told what to do. I look for leadership and guidance, um, experience, intelligence. Um, I think those are really, really important. Also, financial stability, I think, is important. I mean, I think nobody really wants to work. Yeah. Working sucks. As much as I um, wouldn't necessarily agree, I do think that I, I don't see any moral inconsistency with what you're saying because in the world that you that we live in right now, the dating culture is totally screwed. It's awful. Yeah, and if, yeah. You, if you want a guy who's, you know, uh, masculine and strong and like sort of alpha type guy, mm-hmm. has resources and all of that, then 
you're going to need to probably look at a guy who isn't a Christian or isn't, you know, a God-fearing man. And I look and for a are, man who believes in God as well or a I follower of Jesus Christ, not yeah, necessarily religion, but, but they believes in Jesus Christ. 